Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your bonus reading for the holidays. Um, this is just a special read. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, put them all out here in two separate columns. One is for career and finance. The other is for romance and emotional life. So let's get to your read, Capricorn. First of all, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position, followed then by the Seven of Wands upright. And next we have Major Arcana of the Hermit in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Wands reversed. And next we have the Eight of Wands reversed, followed by, this is in your um, Romance and Emotional Life, we have the Two of Cups in the reverse and the uh, Page of Swords in the upright position. And lastly, we have the Six of Cups upright. So uh, for your... Career and finances, Capricorn, leading into the holidays, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Ten of Pentacles, I think Virgo got this card too. Uh, this is where the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position represents um, the, sort of like the height in uh, finance and security and that type of thing. Can sometimes represent a pay raise, a big bonus. Um, uh, financial uh, abundance on on a high level feeling extremely secure when it's in the reverse position however it points back to the nine of Pentacles which is still really good energy it's like we have enough we definitely have enough but with the holidays coming up maybe some of you expected to have a little bit more free like ha have your cash freed up a little bit more maybe you had special plans that you wanted to implement for the holidays and although there is enough you um, were hoping that it would be a little bit more for some of you this could represent maybe a, a bonus that you know from work maybe that wasn't as high as you expected or for others of you it could be that um, uh, you uh, just things are costing more than you expected it's just that kind of energy now it's rooted down here by the seven of wands in the upright position seven of wands this is very defensive energy this could be some of you are feeling a little bit defensive maybe because your career or your finance is not living up to your expectations so sometimes that can put us on the defense a little bit so perhaps that's what's going on or perhaps you're just um feeling this need to sort of uh, protect your finances because this is also very protective energy. So for some of you, maybe you're trying to protect whatever it is you do have. Maybe you're trying to not overspend for the holidays. That could definitely be the case. Or it could be a career situation that maybe has uh, thrown you a little bit for, the, for a loop and you're a little bit defensive or protective of yourself, your privacy over the situation. Now, coming right into the holiday, we have the energies of the Hermit card in the upright position. The Hermit in the upright uh, represents sort of a, a little bit of solitary energy. This is where we kind of are intensely going within. Maybe some of you are doing some uh, intense studying. Students, maybe over the holidays, you're using this time to... Uh, do a lot of your studying, your research, and so forth. For others of you, you could be researching, um, um, perhaps you're researching something on the financial uh, front in order to uh, go forward in a more uh, productive way. Maybe you're planning for the new year, planning for uh, something. You could even be researching a, a career, a new career opportunity, or researching how much... Uh, of financial abundance you can make in another area of your life, maybe taking on a second job or a second project or something like that. So you're doing some heavy duty researching and looking into something. And maybe <laughs> because it's rooted down by the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Wands in the reverse position, this is releasing, letting go of some duties and responsibilities. So maybe that's what you're researching, a way to uh, lessen the burden on you. So maybe you don't have to do so much physical work. Maybe you're you're trying to look into a way to make money that is uh, will be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit easier to uh, come by, where you don't have to put so much sweat equity into it. Maybe sort of um, working smarter, not harder, that kind of thing. Now, in your romance and emotional sector, we have the 
Eight of Wands in the reverse position. The Eight of Wands uh, upright, this can represent a lot of, uh, for those of you, say for example, who are on dating sites, maybe there's a lot of options, a lot of opportunities, a lot of uh, interaction. When it's um, when it's reversed like this, this could represent maybe there isn't a lot of uh, opportunities out there for you. Maybe you're, you know, uh, reaching out to people and they're just not answering you or uh, that kind of thing could be going on. But this can also sometimes represent travel delays maybe some of you have intentions to travel towards uh, a, a special someone um, it's governing your emotional life so it's not necessarily a romantic partner although it definitely could be some of you could be wanting to uh, maybe travel to go see somebody very special in your life and those travel plans got cancelled it could have been due to the finances not being as up to par as you know you had hoped so maybe that's why the travel delays or it could be somebody you were expecting to come and see you is not um is not um being able to travel at this time for others of you this could represent just a, a breakdown in communication because it is rooted down here by the two of cups in the reverse position this is indicating not being on the same page with someone so this could be somebody a definite a close person a best friend somebody a beloved someone that we really really care for and we're just not seeing eye to eye this is prior to the holidays like leading into the holidays it could be that you're just you know you have a, a bit of a tiff a lover's quarrel that kind of thing and uh, communication is just stopping but moving right into the actual holidays we have the page of swords here in the upright position this is air energy that of gemini libra aquarius sun moon arising and pages do represent messages coming towards you so it could be that for some of you if communication has broken down maybe right at the holidays you do get a message from the person for others of you this could be representing someone new maybe there's someone who's uh, watching you from a distance from afar it could be a fire sign or a, an air sign rather maybe this person is watching you and is you know going to be messaging you uh either through social media or something like that and even text messaging you and um could be throwing you for a little bit of a loop <laughs> It's rooted down by the Six of Cups in the upright position. This can definitely be representative of maybe someone from the past has been sort of wanting to reach out to you, Capricorn. And over the holidays is when they choose to do so. For others of you, this could just be representing feeling really emotionally good about a connection from the past. Again, this could be uh, someone from the past coming back on the scene right around the time of the holidays, bringing much emotional joy to you. For others of you, this definitely could be representing the one that got away is now uh, back on the scene again, has sent you a message and they're wanting to come back. So that is your reading Capricorn. I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, I want to wish you a very, very happy and magical holiday season. However you celebrate it, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for tuning in. Star Lord is signing off for now. Bye-bye.